Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I've got these two little candle holders that I'm going to change the colour of. They don't no longer... Um, I, I don't use them, this colour, so I'm going to change the colour. As everything in my house, we'll be getting a makeover. So they're a candle holder. I'm going to put them in a cup. The area that won't get poured on is around the lip here, but that's okay when they're fully dry. Um, how I take them off the cup, if the cup becomes stuck, all you do is squeeze the cup and they come away from the surface that you've got them on. So then that blank surface, blank surface there I'll just paint in a, um, one of the colours that I'm going to pour on so no biggie. The other thing to do if you're any of the pieces that you're going to pour on might be a bit um, dusty or uh, as this one is a little bit shiny I just pour uh, squeeze some isoprol alcohol it cleans the surface I'm just wiping over that so I've already done it, but I just wanted to show you. There's an ant making an appearance. So just wipe over the surface and make sure there's no dust on it. I've put, I've put a canvas underneath as well to catch the runoff. So then I can move the little candle holders off and then I can create a canvas out of the runoff. So nothing gets wasted. Um, you, so I will just, keep a tray beside me to put the, um, well, probably we'll put the canvas on it when I've poured. So the first thing, actually I'll take them off. I won't set them up on the cups until I've poured my paints that I want to pour into a little jug. So the colors I am using today are purple, purple, now I'm going to use, which is one of my, come my favourite products, the Pearl, Pearl Mist. So I just put a good, um, good blob of this Pearl Mist into my paint. So, as you see, I don't measure anything. So that goes in there. You can put more in. What what this pearl mist does, it gives it a really nice uh, iridescent look. So um, this is available here in Australia. I got it from the online link below. And it's um, a global product, but I believe it is being sold um, in the US and other countries or it's been stocked. So that's one of my favourite products at the moment. I'm adding it to everything because I love it. So when you, you mix it into your paint, this paint has already got paint and pouring medium. So it, it just mixes in and makes a really lovely, you probably can't see, a really glistening shimmery effect. So when I'm pouring over objects, um, I like to do the paint a little bit thicker and you, I do it with the clear glue and water pouring medium because the glue, in this making this fluid will then help it stick to this so I have done another video with pre-made pouring paints and that works perfect I have never had any problem of the paint not sticking to my surfaces um, that some people say they've had so I'm just wondering if they actually did it the same way my puppy's having a good old time there again so that's the lovely um, glistening in that and I'm going to use so I'm going to start off with this so I'm just going to pour my paints in the this little measuring jug just so I can use the spout so I'll pour the purple so that's just the um, global purple and then I'm going to add the gold look at this this is metallic gold so it's already shimmery shiny so I will pour that in so just nice and slowly down the sides and I am going to go I've already put this was the oh, dark sea dark sea 
but I've put a good blob of the pearl mist in it. So it's all just really shimmery and beautiful. So I'm going to have some of that in there. Pearl mist and that. So I've got some lovely colours there. Then I will go the gold again. And I'll go back to the purple. So I'm just doing those three colours. The purple, the dark sea and the metallic gold. Um, ooh, and no other colours. So... I think that should be enough for the three of them. We will just see, hey, what I will do. So I'll leave that aside. Put my paints back into my little holder so I don't knock anything over. Now I'll prepare this. So you could cut, in fact, I could cut the cup down lower, which will be simple. Actually, I have got some, um, I have got some egg rings. You could use egg rings, but you can do it like this. So either like that. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the go. Yeah, that's probably the go. So I'll use that. I'll cut the cup down just so it's um, less likely to fall over. I think a lady suggested it to me when I did this with my other one so there i'll just put it on it just gives a nice little surface to hold your item that you want to pour over my dogs are every single time i will shut the door so i'll try and keep the doggy noises down to a minimum you're a pain in the bucket sometimes puppies but I love my puppies, so I'm not going to complain too much about them. Rightio, what I'm going to do first to give just a, a coat is I'm going to pour some of the um, dark sea over to give the initial coat. So it's got, see how much thicker this paint is than I would normally use? Because then it really seems to adhere well to the surface that you're pouring over. So I'll give it that nice coating that is gorgeous that is such a beautiful color with that pearl misting because it's just glistening and rightio here we go actually i might put the some more gold on the top there i might have too much for this but that's all right because i can use it on the um on the on, a, on the canvas if the canvas is not um, is already covered then I can use it on another one so nothing's wasted so here we go I'm going to do a ring pour so I'll do it in a ring oh look at those colors oh my goodness I like that one just as it is No purple out yet but I love that as it is that's gorgeous actually I've got some cushions that's got that color in them oh it doesn't matter oh my goodness that is gorgeous let's just try a bit of it now oh. I don't really want to put too much more on there. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to put no more paint on. It doesn't need it. No more. I'm not going to put no more. That don't. I am not going to put any more paint on. That is perfect. I love it. What do you think? Oh, look at all this paint. So I'm going to get another canvas and we're going to do another pour on another canvas. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to add any more because I just love that the way it is. So that is perfect. There you go. You change all the items around your house 
that you might have thrown out because they don't go with things or they don't um, float your boat anymore. You just change them up. So I'm just thinking if I... I might just put this aside on the... Oh, hopefully they don't fall. I might just put it aside till I have a think about if I want to try and pour on this canvas or I just leave leave it there to and um, take the cups off. Just worried about picking those cups up now and then losing them. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe I did it I didn't I should have left them taller because it makes the bottom weaker, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Hang on, let's see. So I'll try one. If I drop it at least I've got enough paint there to re pour. I'm just going to put that aside and I'm going to put this one aside. Oh, very carefully. Look at that colour on there though. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to put them aside and that, that's okay. So I'll just see what I can do with this canvas now. Let's see if I can give this a ring pour and Make something gorgeous out of this little canvas. Those colours are absolutely stunning together. So let me just ring it. Ring it, ring it, ring it. I'm sure it'll create some interesting effects. But you know, I don't want to put too much more on. I might just use up a bit of the extra paint that I've got here so I don't have to try and tilt it over the very tip, tippy um, the corners. But I'm sure I've got enough paint on there to make something of that. We'll just see. That's it. Oops, I used a bit, had too much there. That's fine. Fine, fine. Let's see how I go. <laughs> that naughty little puppy. Well, she's not really naughty. She's just playing trying to get her attention off her bigger brothers and sisters. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that colours beaut together? They're so lovely. Oops. Oops, the days. I'll just recenter it. And I'll pop it on my tray. Look at that. So I've still got one third of the measuring jug, which I kind of lost. I lost the gold in my um, little circles and I am tempted to pour over it again but I'm so happy with them as they are that I'm not now I can't oh, I can't slide them onto my there you go I'm not sure if you've seen those but I'll check in a second because I don't want to lose the that is gorgeous they are gorgeous Oh, you can't see them. I'll, I'll zoom it out and you will see it. Um, i just touch that very tip here with cover it. That's beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it. Let's see if I zoom it out whether I can, you can see my dubas. There you go. So really happy with that. I'll um, bring it, the camera down because it's definitely not showing it up real well, how gorgeous the colours are. But I'm really happy with those. So I will show you them. You'll see the photos on at the end. And thank you so much for joining me. Another little idea, have a look around your house, things that you may have pushed into a cupboard or even pushed into a box to go out to charity. Have a look at it because you might think, no, I can pour over that and change it. And the thing is, if you don't actually want to keep it, it might be a lovely gift for somebody else. 
because remember um oh, i've got a video out last week where i coated all of my vase and other things in my wipe on method which is really simple and gives a nice gloss coating um, to make it more durable as well so that i can link that video below if you haven't already seen it so thank you so much for joining me i will come down with the camera and give you a quick squizzy right, here we are i'm looking in the camera now looking at the true thing this emerald or the dark sea which is turned out like a real emerald it's not the true color in the camera the, it's very difficult to but anyway it still looks beautiful either way it's gorgeous and i love it so that gives a really nice effect on there and of course my poured candle holders they're gorgeous i'm really happy with those because even where it's mostly that dark sea with the glitter and it's got the veins of gold going through it so it is very pretty very pretty yeah have a go and uh, if you want to show me and the other um pour us out there yours your um finished product go on to our australian acrylic pouring site on facebook and if you haven't already joined you can join it and um put your own work on there and get some tips and tricks or help other like-minded people so that is it for today thank you very much join me tomorrow take care people bye for now